Hi, Otto and Felix. Um, this is what I've come up with. Um, actually, it turns out that your your dad's uh, plan was... I really liked it once I got to looking at it carefully. I did make a few small changes, but um, pretty much stuck right with it. Um, let's look at it a little closer here. Uh, so basically, it's, it's like what he had. Uh, the only thing, the major change is right here. Um, if this is the door into your master, um, then you could put like the door into the laundry room right here. This, the way I got this set up, it's not, this is probably a, a tad, well, I don't know, I think it works. Um, what I would do is make this the shower right here with a door right there. And you could even have a door right there, but that's quite a few doors. But anyway, it's just big enough to put a, three foot by 32 inch shower right there and a space to stand there to take off and on your clothes and the toilet being there and then uh, the sink there but this uh, and then everything else is the same 10 by 10 by everything's 10 by 10 this is the same size um, this is the same size is on your dad's plan and I think it all works just fine um, this being going into the master here and this is all master closet up here what I had in mind is this area let me get my different tool this area say to uh, probably somewhere up in here like 16 feet you guys can measure it that's dedicated to uh, uh, living room and this is by the way I made this plan uh, it's, I got it down to 1932 uh, if this seems too cramped, then we'll have to, you know, bump it up. But the smaller you are, the closer you're going to have to coming to your budget of two hundred thousand dollars for the, just the building. So you have a nineteen by sixteen living room area, and then what did I figure? Uh, believe th then this probably being the dining room, uh, not the dining room, but the entry somewhere across in here, like something like that and then I thought this could all be designated to entries right about into there so this is dining this okay that's a stairway to go downstairs um, this is an entry closet for your garage right there that's your garage you come around here that's a pantry that's just big enough if we put a door here and you can have shelving like that so it's kind of a walk-in pantry and then the exact kitchen light, I'm not sure, probably stove in this part, come down, and then you come along here, kitchen sink probably looking out here, and then uh, the refrigerator over in here somewhere, I think, because I'd also thought of putting an island over about from here to something like that, and then something like, not a big island, because you I don't know if you want a wall here or not. But anyway, I hope I'm not being too confusing. That's kind of uh, what I had going there. Um, and the, you might have to listen to this tape a few times. And you can mark it out uh, and make changes on that PDF that I sent uh, an email. So this, this then is the basement. Uh, this is what I have. Just an idea. All this is just ideas to run by. Okay, come down your stairs here. Then this section right here, which is about, it's pretty good size, uh, that is the kickbox studio. It's 17 by 16, so you can see if that's, you can see if that's big enough for you. And then um, this in here would be family. Remember, this is daylight. See, this is a double insulation wall, but you kind of get in hopefully full daylight by here if we're cocking that house into the hill. This is daylight along back here. I'm not exactly where the daylight's at. I don't know. But I'm thinking this is family room. And this back in here is um, the pottery room. Now, one idea to save money, and you guys think about it, do you need a full basement or not? If, if you did, then there'd probably be, then this is where you go into bedrooms or whatever, storage, however much you want to make. Um, but the idea being that this could be crawl space up in here, whatever. Let's say you want storage. You could you could then make it across here, and this all being storage in here, 
and the other thing with this being the crawl space it makes it really easy to put your uh, furnace and hot water tank into that space right there so um, anyway that's that should give you plenty to look at and get back to me as soon as you can so I can keep going on this and I'll I'll call you or, or in, unless you get a hold of me right away thanks <laughs>